Welcome everyone to Forza Horizon 2 and today we're dealing with the Rockstar Energy car pack. This is newly released, uh, six new cars, one of them free and this is the first car and this is also the free car. The 2001 Acura Integra Type R, more commonly known as a Honda in the likes of the UK. But yeah, it has a 1.8 litre inline 4 and it's generating a healthy 195 horsepower which is a really good amount I think for a car of that age and which is naturally aspirated so yeah let's see what it can do I've not been I've never been a f massive fan of uh, Hondas in general but I'm sure this one's uh, an exception it's front wheel drive practical car and even though I'm on the uh, uh, Storm Island uh, map, I'm sure it'll uh, deal with anything that we uh, throw at it in the short uh, test drive. Unfortunately, it's also raining at night, but oh well. A lot of tie pars, this sounds really, really good. And also, like a lot of tie pars, it also revs to a really, really high amount. I'm not giving it a uh, hell of a lot of uh, punishment, it's certainly handling all that as well. Let's see what the next car is. Now, I know a lot of people have been uh, moaning hey man, about this car park not having yourself? a uh, good variety of cars, but I'm personally a uh, fan of it. Cars. It's also got this car in it. One of my all-time favourite cars, and it's a 1995 BMW 850 CSI. It has a V12 engine, a 5.6 litre V12 in 1995 from a BMW. BMW are not always known for putting big engines in their cars, but this is one of the uh, few that they have. 372 horsepower and 402 foot-pounds of torque. It's got a lot of power, but it also is fairly heavy. As you can see, it's more than 4,000 pounds. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, not going to hinder it in any way. And it also has pop up headlights, so it's instantly cool as well. I've always liked the look of this car. Wish this game would load quicker. a lot of power from a first bridge car from 1995. Ah, uh, though my, my driving skills have let it down. You know, first time driving it on this game. Remember seeing this on a Top Gear a while ago. Like I said, this isn't the best place to be testing normal cars like this, but you'll know why I'm on here in a minute. Because it needs to be on here for three of the cars that are on this pack. Three of them are a bit more ordinary, including the two I've just tested. And now is the uh, final ordinary kind of car. It isn't really suited to this kind of uh, map. All the way to 
J. There we go. Here it is. In 2015 Jaguar XFRS. Big ordinary saloon car. Well, I say ordinary, but it's got a 550 horsepower, 5 litre V8. And as you can see, it's also got a fair bit of weight. But it also has a fair bit of torque as well. And Jaguars of old that have been this quick have been really, really fast. So, yeah. Let's see uh, if this is uh, any different. I've always liked Jaguars. They've never really ever disappointed in my eyes. Mm, we'll go white. I also think this looks rather good as well. Maybe not as nice as other Jaguars that they've been doing, like the F-Type and stuff like that, but it sure isn't an ugly and boring car like a uh, BMW or a Mercedes. It's very good, and with that wing on the back of it, it's sort of comments, it's a bit cartoonish, but there's nothing wrong with that. Whoa, and as you can see, it's a lot of because it has a lot of power. Flies around and really like the rain. But with all that power on top, you can also get it drifting. Ah, watch the trees. to drive this on a track. So if you give it a big enough straight this will be uh, as fast as some cars that are meant to be uh, quick in the first place. Yeah, this is the last of the ordinary kind of cars that are meant for the normal roads and not uh, sure as hell not for off-roading and the next one is twenty fifteen Subaru WRX STI now in terms of looks this looks a lot better than uh, cars of previous from Subaru even though it is a bit ripping off on Mitsubishi Evo of late but yeah typical two and a half litre flat four 305 horsepower the engine wise has never really ever changed but these have always been great to handle and sure as hell have always been good off roading which is why I'm on this uh, Storm Island map because Oh, the Jaguar, the BMW and the Acura were m are more meant for uh, on-road. This and two other cars that are in this car pack aren't, are more meant for rallying and off-roading. So, yeah, that's why we're on here. And, uh, hopefully it's not going to fail to impress. barely go anywhere just to realise it. And yeah, it's not quick. But you'll be able to keep your speed up on any kind of course that it Be it normal tarmac or be it gravel or sand or dirt or anything else. So it's eight minutes meter. like the interior is up for, uh, in terms of what the normal Subarus are like. Dials are a lot sharper than normal as well. Nice big drift. Yeah. I look forward to upgrading that and doing an extreme off-road silly build with it. <laughs> right, now the final two cars. 
two cars that I've been most interested about from this pack, that's for sure. And the first one is... Volkswagen Desert Dingo Racing Stock Buddy. Bug. Buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Raised uh, ride height, stripped out, and... Well, it's not got all that much more horsepower than normal, but it's a lot better than the 40 horsepower from standard. And it obviously doesn't weigh all that much like most Beatles. Yeah, this is going to be uh, interesting to drive, to say the least. It's obviously made for uh, doing a uh, off-roading, racing, stuff like that. So, yeah, this is made for this kind of map. Can't say I have ever heard of it, but you know, that's what I love about these kind of games. They uh, give you a uh, an insight into cars that you've never heard of before. And can't say I've ever heard of this. That's for sure. Size of those bumpers. It's even more basic than usual, which is an achievement. That's for sure. This isn't quick, but it's certainly not going to struggle with any uh, of the off-road horses that this uh, Storm Island map has to throw at it, that's for sure. Uh, unless my driving fails it, that is for sure. Those mirrors are weird. I can't say I've ever seen a Volkswagen Beetle like this. Oh crap. Well, if that was real life, I'd sure, sure the hell have died because the Bentley versus a Beetle. <laughs> we all know who's going to come off better in that crash. Now, the final car of this pack. It's kind of a spiritual successor to this car. Uh, Dude, the car what I just things. tested, even. So, yeah. And it's the Volkswagen Beetle GS GRC Rally Car. As you can see, it's got immense acceleration, launch, and braking with fairly good handling. But the speed is obviously down because it's made for acceleration and uh, launch. So yeah, yeah, 536 horsepower, 1.6 liter in line four. It doesn't all weigh all that much either. So this is surely going to make mince meat of anything that this uh, Storm Island map has to throw at it. This is a rally car that Tanner Faust out of Top Gear USA rides, drives in. So yeah, it should be pretty good. This is certainly the fastest accelerate car out of the pack, that's for sure. And you'll show us how it 
plenty from it because not only do you have cars that are good on track or on road, you also have cars that like this that can do this kind of thing. So yeah, personal recommendation from me because I personally love it. I'm sure there's plenty of people that can get the uh, love out of it as I am. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.